Uh, now, there's a couple of problems here. Uh, let's take a look at this one first. We're always appending. So that means that if I render twice, it's going to keep the old results in the list. And I don't really want that. So we should discard uh, previous results. So if we render twice, and this time an even better 80s movie is uh, like that. Now I only want there to be one, and it should be Terminator. And that fails because now we have three items. Okay. So we can solve this and another problem in one fell swoop. Because this is the other problem. Constantly accessing the DOM in a loop is a potential performance problem. So we'll just build a string instead. Uh, like that. So now we're accessing the DOM only once, and we're always overriding the contents of the list. And now we're back to passing. And that is, I think, about that for, for this renderer thing. It's fairly simple, and maybe we want to add some error handling and so, so on. But for, for this exercise, this is enough functionality for that object. So let's take a look at the plugin, uh, see if we can get any further with this. So each jQuery object is a collection of zero, one, or more DOM elements. So if we want to process them all, we have to use this.each to loop them all. Now I'm going to do this for clarity, because this function will be called with the actual DOM element as the this object. And I'm just going to alias it so it's easier to read the rest of the code. And now we can create a renderer. Yay. Uh, 